Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you a soap bubble story. And it's about a boy who loved bubbles. And every day when he came home from school, he would blow bubbles. He'd blow quite big bubbles and he noticed that the first bubbles fell very quickly, but the smaller ones that he blew later fell quite slowly and they were a different colour. Can you see they're a little bit bluer? And he thought, I wonder what happens. I wonder if I can make a bubble fall more slowly. And what he did was to blow a couple of bubbles and then he took a deep breath and blew. He held the air in his lungs to make it warm and then blew the next bubble. And you know the amazing thing? It didn't fall. It went up the way with the warm air, but then the air quickly got cool and the bubble started to come down. But he flapped it around with his hand to keep it going and he could make it go up and keep in the air with all the colours shining. He learned all these tricks just by playing around with bubbles. He was a real bubble expert. He even found a way of making bubbles stick together. He would blow one bubble, catch it again, and then blow another bubble stuck on, catch it again, and then blow another bubble stuck on. And he could do that at least four times, maybe many, many more times, and make a nice chain of bubbles. Now, there was one thing that he wanted to do, one trick that he'd seen that he never managed to do, and it was to catch a bubble and hold it in his hand. He'd seen many people bursting bubbles, but he wanted to be a person who could catch a bubble and hold it in his bare hand. And he would try and try. Every time he'd done all his other tricks and experimentations, he would try to catch that bubble in his hand. But could he do it? No, he just couldn't do it. And so when you can't do something, what do you do? You ask for help. And he asked his mum and she says, I think I know somebody who lives around the corner. And they went round to visit this man who was a kind of scientist. And when he asked about holding a bubble in his hand, he said, that's a very hard thing to do. And let me think. I think the best thing is if I make for you a bubble cage. And the boy said, what's a bubble cage? The man said, wait and see. There you are. There's a bubble cage. But there are no bubbles there. And the man said, wait. And he blew on the bubble and little bubbles went into the bubble cage. The boys looked for a minute and said, oh, I don't like bubbles in a cage. I like them flying free. And the man opened the door and let the bubbles fly out. And he said, you know something? I can see that you really do love bubbles. You like them a lot, don't you? And the boy said, oh yes, I do. But I really want to hold the one in my hand. The man said, well, it's quite simple, really. Take your hand and make it nice and wet really wet all over. Now at first it may not work because your hand's not quite wet enough, but if you get your hand really, really wet, you should be able to hold a bubble in your hand. So the boy wet his hand and he held it out and he tried to catch the bubble and at first it worked, but then it burst. The man said, no, wet your hand a bit more. Sometimes you have to keep it in water for maybe for 10 or 20 seconds for a long time to make it really wet. The boy tried again and he tried to catch it. He almost held it and it did stick for a little bit. It was very good, but when he turned it over and wiggled around a bit, it stayed. He'd managed to do it. His hand was really wet. He tried to blow it off his hand and you know what? It almost went, but not quite. But now he was confident that his hand was getting very wet and he get it even wetter because if he did it really, really, really wet, he was sure he could catch the bubble, blow a bubble off and catch it again. So he held the bubble in his hand and blew gently. Oh, it didn't work again. But the great thing is, as I've said before, in many occasions, if something doesn't work, you don't give up. You keep trying. That's one of the best ways to learn things. So the boy kept trying again and again and blowing the bubble off his hand and trying to catch it and this time he caught it and he blew it again and you know what? He managed to blow it off his hand again and he caught it again. He was so pleased because you know now he'd not only learned how to hold a bubble in his hand but how to catch a bubble again and again and all he had to do 
was to make sure his hand was very wet. So, bye bye for now, and there'll be more about bubbles later. Now, always have a towel, by the way, to wipe your wet hands before you go home. Bye bye.